In this video, I'm going to show you a real client project where I used AI tools to produce professional looking product images like this. I'm also going to show you how to fix label text on the AI generated material using some really basic Photoshop skills. Welcome back to the channel and Happy New Year 2026. If this is your first time on the channel, then my name is Thomas and I make videos about product photography and AI. So there's two questions that I get asked all the time by you guys in the comments. And I thought I would start the year out by addressing these two most important questions at the same time in a video. Question number one is always, can I show the details of my workflow and where I get the ideas and reference images and how do I create the prompts that I use. And question number two, which is probably the most asked question out there, how do we fix label text on AI generated images? So we're going to take a real client example from last year, take a look at the workflow more in detail, and then I'll show you how to fix some of the errors that sometimes appear when you use AI generated tools. And the client example that we're working with today is a brand called Ahti. It's a newly launched Finnish canned water and sparkling water brand. And we got the task to create brand images and videos for their launch last year. So starting out, the client only sent us these two rendered files of the products. And they also sent us a mood board with some examples of the images and styles that they like. And this way we started together with the client, develop the concepts and the ideas that we were then going to create. Now, whenever I create anything using AI tools, I usually start at P interest looking for inspiration and reference images to start the creative process. I usually spend around 10, 20 or even 30 minutes just jumping around on Pinterest to find something that I really like and want to build upon. When I find something that I like, the next step is to take a screenshot of that image and then I ask ChatGPT to break it down into an image prompt. And at this stage, you can also take your reference image along with the style reference and send both to ChatGPT and ask it to describe the product in the final image as your product. Now you have a detailed description in the style that you want with your product, which also gives you the possibility to make changes into the description afterwards. So you will get a result that is similar to the image that you took inspiration from, but you're also able to make changes based on the results you get. And you can either do the changes to the prompts manually, or you can use ChatGPT to make changes because the prompts need to be written in a certain way in order for the models to best understand what changes you want to make. And I use a custom GPT that I have trained on some instructions of how to prompt image models. So when I send it an image, it immediately knows how to break it down into a prompt for the different image models. And if you want to use this custom GPT, I have it linked in the description below. And by using this method, I created all the images that you now see on screen along with the prompts as well. And if you want to use the prompts for yourself, you can simply pause the video and take a screenshot and then copy the text from there. All these images were generated using Seadream or Nano Banana Pro on Higgs field. And if you're going for that photorealistic look, it's of course important that you try to use the 4K resolution for all the images. This video isn't sponsored by Higgs field, but I believe I have a 10% discount code in the description if you want to try this out for yourself. Now, a quick tip when generating images for cans or bottles is to always ask for condensation on the can or bottle itself. Because in my experience, if you ask for condensation on the can, the images will turn out much more realistic, especially if you're working with just a render of the product that can sometimes turn out too plastic looking in the image itself. So asking for condensation just gives it that extra bit of secret sauce that you want. And now I'm going to show you how to fix the label text errors that can sometimes happen when you use AI image tools. I want to start out this section by saying that you definitely don't need to be super advanced and expert level in Photoshop to fix these errors. Of course, it depends what type of label error you're working with, but I myself is by no way, shape or form a super seasoned veteran in Photoshop. 
I am still learning how to do this in the best way. So this is more kind of a beginner friendly quick fix solution, how to adjust text that has been messed up by the AI image tools. So by default, I really like the splash and positioning of the cans in this image. And I think this one was actually generated using Seadream 4. So it was a while back. And the idea here was of course to generate kind of an infinite black background with the cans half submerged in a kind of water tank photography. And as you can see, the image is by no means perfect, but this is a really good example of an image that has something that we like and we can kind of save it by using some simple Photoshop skills. First, we're gonna fix the text on the white can. So we're gonna start out by just selecting the area around the text so we can remove it completely using the polygon lasso tool and the remove tool over here. Now that we have removed the text, we're gonna bring in the text layer from the label design file. With the text from the design file on top of our can, we're gonna reveal the original blurred out text underneath. And now we're simply gonna align our real text layer with the blurred out text in order to replace it. And now we're gonna do the same thing for the original logo text as well. And just like that, we have replaced the blurred text with the real text and it looks pretty good in my opinion. We're gonna use the same method for the other can as well and remove the text that was there originally and replace it with the real text from the design file. And here I simply remove the area between the words in the design file so I can match them up and so that it looks like they are behind the wave. Next up we need to fix the visible water tank. So I'm just gonna select the area around the image like so and we're gonna remove the water tank from the image. Now it didn't remove it completely so I just selected the area again that I wanted to adjust and made another request with the Photoshop generated fill and we ended up with this. Next up we needed to fix this part of the design on the white can. So again I brought in the right graphic from the design file and just aligned it with the right section of the label, removed the unnecessary parts of the graphic, and just painted it out so it matched the label beneath. Then with a slight adjustment to the brightness and we can see that now the labels match perfectly. So just as a quick recap, we started out with an image that looked like this and with just a quick 10 to 15 minutes Photoshop retouching, we ended up with an image that looked like this. And I know that some of you are gonna say that, well, this won't work if the error on the label is bigger or more complex than just a simple line of text. And of course, you would be completely correct, but this is just a quick fix method to fix those small errors in text and maybe visuals that would otherwise ruin an image that has something really nice in it. So now when you create AI images, you maybe can look at them and think of them in a slightly different way even though there would be maybe a small error or something that you would like to change in the environment then you still can do that with just some light photoshop editing but please let me know your suggestions on what you would like to see more of on this channel in 2026 I really want to hear from you guys because I'm going to try to post more regular content on a consistent basis and I actually already have a few cool videos lined up for this month so make sure to subscribe for them and otherwise I just wish you the best start to 2026 and I'll see you in the next one.